Today we're back on Project Conan. We're going to start by installing some new tail lights and then install some marker lights. We're gonna clean up these original tail light bodies and reuse them. Basically with this, it's just a mounting point. On your factory light, you want all this to be really, really bright silver for the reflectiveness of the bulb. Since we're going with LEDs, honestly, that doesn't really matter, but we're still gonna clean them up, make them look nice, and then throw a coat of paint on them before we install them. The world we're seeing on these is actually pretty typical. Because of the huge weather strip that goes in, and so we'll show you that in a minute, water tends to get to the bottom and it just sits down here. So this is not, I mean, it's not in the greatest shape, but it's solid. And again, for a mount for an LED, it'll be fine. So after we clean this up, we did see this is a little softer than I honestly would, would really like to see, but I'd still rather use the original part in this case. So we're gonna put a little bit of rubber butyl or silicone in here once the gasket goes in, and that'll seal fine and won't cause any issues. We're just gonna use some detail gray for this. Again, because we have LEDs, the reflection doesn't really matter. We just wanna make them look decent. As you can see, we're out here in our uh, high-end paint booth. It's an old Mustang hood and a trailer behind our shop. Again, if you were using original bulbs, you would want to use a little bit brighter silver for the reflectiveness, but. I'll let that dry, give it another coat, and then paint the other side. So while we're waiting for those taillight bodies to dry, we're gonna throw in the rear marker lights. Now the 69 basically has six markers. You have two in the front, then you have two in the sides of the fenders, and then two back here in the quarter panels. We're gonna start by installing the quarter panel ones, which will be the red ones, and go right here. Basically gonna have your bezel, the actual housing, the gasket, and the hardware. Now these bezels are not threaded, so what I recommend doing is take the nut, put it on there outside the car, give it just like one or two turns, to get it started, makes it a lot easier to do it in the car with the lens and everything attached. But you'll feel it, it'll grab and it starts cutting into it. Start by installing the bulb. You put it in and give it a little turn. Line it up and push it in. You can put the nuts back in place. Don't over crank these, just get them snug. And repeat the process on the other side. The front's installed the exact same way. Again, just get these started, make it easier, especially since you're up inside the fender now. Again, housing, gasket. So these are exactly the same as the back, except they're white instead of red.
All right, so now with the marker lights installed, we're gonna move on to the tail lights. And the tail lights, most of the assembly actually takes place on the table. You gotta put all this together and then we'll put it in the car. So what we have is the actual tail light body. We have the lens gasket, the outer gasket, the body pad, the trim, and then our LED actual lens. Now in the case of this, I'm actually not gonna use the trim. I'll show you where it would go on the car. But in this case, I don't think it adds anything to the installation. With it being a resto mod, I think it actually looks better without it. And then grab the body, they are labeled top and bottom. So make sure you have the correct one. It does say top right here. Might be hard for the camera to pick that up, but you'll be able to easily see it when you look at the body. So just make sure as you're assembling it, you remember where the top is. The first thing you're gonna put in is gonna be the lens gasket. That's gonna basically sit here, go down against the body. In theory, it'll line up with most of the holes. Sometimes you have to move this around a little bit. That's gonna go in first. Actually, that one looks like it lines up pretty well. And after that, you're actually gonna put the taillight itself in. And again, be leery of where the top is. Take that, fish it through the back. At this point, you wanna make sure the holes line up as much as possible. I'm gonna install the screws. Get them all started before you tighten everything down. Next one is gonna be this outer gasket. This one you'll have to mess with a little bit, but basically it's designed to fill this gap from the outside of the lens to the body sitting on top of the gasket seal. This one you sort of have to kind of get it into place and sort of work your way around and push it down. I should have mentioned this, if you do want to use this trim you wouldn't put the outside screws in because this would go on next and then the outer screws would hold it in. But again, we're not gonna use them for what we're doing here being this is more of a resto mod. Our next step is gonna be to put the body pad on. The body pad matches the contour of the body. You can see it's thinner on one side and thicker than the other. Basically what you can do is you're just gonna press this in. Now what I do recommend though, spray a little silicone on this first to make it easier to get it to go in because it is a very tight fit. You see it lines up with the body, and there's actually a seam on the rubber that gives you an idea. That seam should be even with it when it's pushed in, so that's how far you want to go. But yeah, the silicone makes it much, much easier. Just work your way around. Now the sides probably won't go all the way down because they will once it actually goes in the car. So you have that close. And we're ready to go in the car. So if you start from scratch like we are, this is the hardware for your taillights. There's gonna be four of these per side. And the way this works, there's basically like a little keyhole in the metal. This round piece will go in and slide into the square opening, and then that will sort of clip into place and that will hold the stud. It'll have a little bit of movement, basically line up the taillight and then put on the nuts. You're gonna use that to tighten them down. And all four install the same way. Again, you go in from the round side, lock it in place, and this little tab here will go in the circle. So put that in, pull it over, and then push the tab in. And I don't say it locks tight, but that locks in place to install the taillight. Do the same thing for all of them. So again, take note of where the top is. You can almost try to install it upside down, but I guarantee it's not gonna work. This part can be a little frustrating because the studs are only gonna come through so long and you have to make sure all four line up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is kind of just push the taillight against the taillight panel as tight as you can, start the nuts, and then basically just work your way around tightening them. You don't wanna tighten one all the way and then do the other three. You wanna just keep doing circles and work your way around and you'll watch it actually will start pulling that body pad into the body.
kind of squeeze it to get them started. Once you have them all started again, just work your way around tightening them. So one thing I want to mention about this, because of the way the mounting hardware works, you want to make sure basically there's no play in it. You want it tight up against, but you don't want to crank them down because you can actually pull those studs through the metal. So again, make sure it is solid, it's flush against the taillight panel. Now we can move on to the backup lights. So much like the taillight housings, there's actually some assembly on the backup lights before it goes in the car. What we're gonna do is install our LED bulb, put our lens and gasket all together, and then the body can go on the car. The back of the LED has a socket, just like a bulb, that has to basically go all the way down there and turn. I can't do it with my fingers, maybe you can. I use a small, basic set of vice grips. Get a grip on it. And you can kind of line up where it goes, push it in, turn to lock it in place. I basically want to just make sure the wires go down in there. Get this in place. The wires can fight you a little bit. It's way more than they really need to have. We're gonna basically put a gasket in place, grab our lens, and tighten down. All right, the gasket can be a little bit tricky. We basically feed the wire through it. Put it down on the studs. And then, basically there's a little edge in here. You're gonna work your way around and get it to seat on the body. Let me get it seated and go on the car. We start by feeding the harness through. Line up the studs. And put on the nuts on the back. And snug them up. Once the body's tight, you're gonna take this wiring harness and just fish it through this hole in the trunk drop off. Push it up to the grommet. So that's it for the marker lights, the backup lights, and the tail lights. And you know, it's kind of starting to look like a Mustang back here. Next time out, we're gonna tackle the front end, which is a lot more difficult. That's gonna be the grill and the front headlights.